Alrighty, welcome back. This is Aussie Gamer 17, and this is my real walkthrough for Deus Ex Mankind Divided. We're going for all of the achievements in the game, and in this episode, we are going to be covering Mission 5 of the uh, main game. Claiming jurisdiction, and our first objective is to travel to Ruzika, however you want to say that. First, we're going to spend our Praxis points. We've saved up five of them over the last uh, video or two. Uh, the first thing I want more for a um, practicality um, reason is Magpie. It just helps us use our smart vision a bit more, highlights items that can be collected or looted a little bit better. So let's grab that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start working our way towards an achievement which is for purchasing a uh, augment in each of the individual trees. You can see that one there we don't have any points spent, that one we don't have any points spent, all the ones that are grey, greyish white. Um, we're not going to start getting um, the experimental orgs just yet and you'll find out why in a, in a mission a little bit later on. Uh, but we're not going to have enough points to get all of them just yet anyway. Um, everything I've read says that you can't get enough points in one playthrough. I'm not so sure about that because I have finished a playthrough on my practice run and I got really, really, really close. I didn't get there on the practice run, but I have a few uh, things that we're going to try for this run that should hopefully get us enough points to get all the augments in one run. The other way to get them would be to start New Game Plus, um, which carries over all your orgs, and then you can get them that way. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, but anyway, let's spend these remaining four points. We're going to start working on our Glass Shield Cloaking, because that is something we are definitely going to be using later in the walkthrough. Uh, and then I also want to put some points... Actually, it really doesn't matter what we get next. Um, but I'll grab this, it'll allow us to do double takedowns if we get the, um, if we find a need for that later on as well. Alright, we'll get a new, um, upgrade point before the end of this video as well. Now don't forget guys, go and check out my Patreon page, there's a link in the video description. And you can join Aussie's Army, that's what I like to call all my patrons, for only one dollar. Now, I didn't, this is going to be off book a little bit here, I can see an apartment over there that I've actually not, um, I wasn't planning on going into, uh, but I just did it, um, I noticed it as I was uh, getting ready to start this episode, so I thought I'll go over there and check it out uh, before I start recording. Hop on top of this van and I'll just show you on the map exactly where I am and where we're facing. Oop, map. There we go. So what is it, the far south of the northern district um, and opposite Auto Dilly. That's the best way to describe that. So jump up on this van, jump over to this ledge here, or this ledge, and work our way over to this electrical box here. I'm going to jump on top of that, 180, and up here. Alright, let's head inside. 400 XP just for going in there. So there's something I didn't do in the practice run, so there's a little bit more uh, XP towards that achievement all the crafting parts so yeah we'll make a little bit more effort to just pick up little side bits of um, XP where and when we can some more crafting parts here credit chip there oh last time I got 400 credits for that only a hundred and something this time Let's see how you go all right some painkillers in the drawer how are we looking oh yeah there's a uh, Pump and some ammo over here. There we go. And we'll get some XP for hacking this computer, but that's not all we're going to get for it. It's a level one hack, so let's do that. We're also going to get some codes that might come in handy a little bit later on. So let's hack into here. Grab this. Oh, we got busted already. Let's just fortify these. See if we can still make it. Fortify that. Yeah, easy. Level one hat. No problems. Success granted. All right, you'll see. I think it was this email here. Yeah, there we go. They're uh, talking about Miss Heming Hemingway. 
Um, she owns a shop in town, in Prague here, and we're going to, hang on, we haven't visited that shop in the walkthrough, have we? I, I haven't got it in front of me, but uh, yeah, if we haven't already, we're going to go to her shop and we might make use of these codes. Either way, it'll give us a little bit more XP just for punching the codes in whether we need them or not. So that's what we're gonna do. You can see there, there's a door code and a code for her computer terminal. All right, so we may make use of those a little bit later on. And you can have a read of that one, that's just story. All right, let's uh, back out of here. And let's get out of here. Straight down. It's uh, gonna be a bit of a shorter video, I believe. Um, Mission 5 is not a very long mission, but we do get to go somewhere we haven't been. We're going to Ruzika Station, or I, technically I guess we have been there. It's where the bomb went off at the start of the game. Um, so we're going to head back there and see what we can do to discover what happened. Um, but before we head off to Ruzika, I'm going to just uh, head up to, what is it, room 301 Helvani and sell some goods. We don't have much to sell, but are you in? just make a little bit of room. Hey, buddy. I don't deal much with crazy Uyubuk. That's not very nice. Credits are credits. Have a look. All right, we will. Yeah, I'm not going to listen to you. Okay, sell. Once again, getting rid of hypo stims for now. Okay, somehow it looks like I've picked up some booze. I've been avoiding that. Uh, don't use data scan, so I've got rid of that. Oh, there's some more stuff over here. Regular pistol ammo and combat rifle ammo. Oh, and the combat rifle. We don't want that. All right, looks good to me. Let's get out of here. Oh, yeah, yeah, whatever. So what have we got? 16,000 credits at the moment. We are going to have plenty of credits, guys. I think I finished a run with... Oh, I'd be guessing now. I know it was over 60,000 credits. Um, probably even more. So let's not worry about credits. That's almost criminal. All right. Talk to Miller. I'm at the Metro. Perfect timing. Chang says your private chariot will arrive any time you call up Razika Station on the map. Chang, you had him hack into Prague's public transit company so I can get to Razika? Plan A wasn't working. Here we go. So as soon as you choose Razika, that's uh, where we can go finally. Let's do it. Jensen, what's wrong? What are you doing here? Miller sent me to find you. Thought you might have run into trouble. He said that? Did he use those exact words? Because it's not my fault! What Calm down, buddy. Smiley. One minute I'm in there running the show, and the next they accuse me of trying to tamper with evidence. Me! Can you believe that? I would never do that, Adam. Never! It's our crime scene. Exactly. But try telling them that. The minute they went for their guns, I decided it was time to shut up and get out of there. They accused me of tampering with evidence. You already said that. Probably destroying all the evidence there is right now. <laughs> you know, at first I thought this was about Sonia. Sonia? Sonia who? Oh, just some girl I've been teaching English to. Turns out her husband is a little territorial. You know the type. Smiley. Right. Back to the case. The thing is, I think I found something in there, something big, something that could just blow this case wide open. I just, I, I just need to get a look at the scan of the blast area, so... Actually, it's a good thing that you're here. I don't suppose you could... Jensen your way in there and grab it for me? Oh, I certainly will, but before we do, let's uh, have a bit more of a dig into what we're doing here. What do you think is on this scan? It's evidence, Jensen. A 3D mass spectrometer scan of the explosion site. And? And, if I had one more minute in there, I'd have it with me right now, and I could find out. But the fact that they don't want me to see it makes me want to see it even more. I'm sure it's important. 
So what am I looking at in there? It's a blast site. There's debris everywhere and plenty of cops too. Once you get past the turnstiles and security offices, you should have a clean path to the tourist office where they have the scan. They don't see you. How many cops are inside? I don't know. Several. They all had guns, so I didn't stop and count them all. Oh, God. At least one guy in an exosuit. And my guess is they'll shoot first and bury the bodies later. I don't like this guy. All right, let's do it. We need that evidence. Yes, exactly. That's the spirit. We need it. But you won't be able to just walk in there and ask them for it since you're Interpol and, you know, augmented. After yesterday's attack, they're not exactly fans of the, uh, hmm. So where do I find it? The forensic team set up camp inside the tourist agency, or what used to be the tourist agency. Get to their setup, grab the DSD with the scan on it, and get out. Easy peasy. This could take a while, Smiley. Got it. I'll get it. It won't. HQ. Good luck, and uh, uh, let's not tell Miller about this one, okay? Right. All right, some more XP there. All right, so you heard it. That's our job to go and get the evidence. First thing we're going to do is climb the scaffolding here and jump up over to here. Head along into this vent over here. Don't worry about that if you've got the uh, the shielding from uh, electricity. Grab a pocket secretary here. Now this is just a code for the ticket booth at Kepik Fountain um, train station. We may or may not use that later. More likely that we may use it. But uh, anyway, don't hold me to it. And then what you want to do is jump over here, go behind the boxes and use this vent here. Hopefully you've got the rebreather org, otherwise you uh, might not make it through this section. And turn the gas off. And search this body here for another pocket secretary. This is the important one. It's got the code to a room here. Uh, does it tell us what room it is? Yeah, some sort of room that the cops are using here and the code is 0808. I'll show you where that is in a bit. Now, the other important thing here, I'll just wait for the gas to dissipate a bit more. Okay, there, there we go. If you've got, I'll go to our orgs. If you've got the, uh, I think it's the Icarus Dash org, this one here. Um, and if you fully upgrade it, you can use it to dash and grab onto high ledges and things like that. Like I said, I'm not grabbing any experimental orgs yet. So we're going to have to do this mission a slightly uh, different way, a longer way. But if you do have it, use it to grab up there on top of that pipe that my uh, crosshair is on right now. We can't, can't quite jump up there with our um, leg orgs. But if you could, there's a vent up there that'll lead you straight to the waypoint, straight to the evidence. You could grab it and come straight back out here, out the way we came, um, and finish the mission pretty simply. But we're going to have to go the long way around. But it'll give us another, uh, more of a chance to get some more XP uh, and also a few goodies along the way. So back the way we came, this time we can drop down here. You can turn the uh, breaker off if you want, it doesn't really matter. Out this door here. Alright. No and we'll try and go through here, but the police won't let us. This area is restricted to civilians. I'm with Task Force 29. Thought maybe I could take a look around. You thought wrong. This is a local investigation. You task force guys can go swing your dick someplace else. That's fine. Forget it. That's not very nice. Bye. I do not know what Ark hope to accomplish with this attack. All right, now there's going to be a few different ways that we can handle this next bit. We're going to do part of both of them just to grab the XP. So head in here, and what we'll do is hack this door. Uh, it's just a level one hack, so we can all do that. Uh, we've got two green things to get to though, so let's 
start there, go there, Anomaly fortify, detected. grab that, fortify, grab that, and fortify, no, which Access is slow. Granted. But, easily got in anyway, so there's a tiny bit of XP for that. Head in here, grab this key card here, Rizika Station Security Key Card. Uh, let me just check for loot. Alright, there's some crafting parts behind there. Is there anything else? Yeah, I'm going slightly off book just to get the extra XP. Um, I want those crafting parts too. Alright, back out. Jeez, that's all a bit messy. Anyway. Okay, now. We're going to use the key card here. Does that give us XP or not? I thought it might, but anyway. We have the code to this room here. So this was the original plan to go in here. 0808. Make sure you uh, crouch down to go in here. It's a restricted area. And there's some uh, guards out there that might see us if we're not too careful. You can pick up this uh, chip here. And if you're quick, where is it? It's, there's a credit chip just there on the table. So I'm going to quickly stand up, grab it, and duck back down. Not enough time for them to get too worried. I think we can actually shut the shutters. Ah, uh, but now they're suspicious. That's okay, though. If they come in here, we'll just, uh, take care of him. Get some, get some XP for that. Once again, that's a bit off script, but that's okay as well. Alright, let's, uh... Leave him in here and shut the door so no one finds him. Okay. Back on with the plan. We're going through this vent here. Okay. We can just hop down here. Won't matter too much. I'd like to wait for him to move. You probably could just take him down where he was. Uh, but just pick this up. Throw it over there. Uh. Get cover here, and we'll get him to just come back around the corner a little bit more. And there we go. There we are. And he has got a code for us on this pocket secretary. Security room 8066. Let's just find his gun. That code we just got is for that door over there, but before you head over there, just be careful. There is a camera just here. Let's grab cover right there. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to open this door, but we're going to wait until the camera is not looking, and then we'll um, put the code in as quick as we can, because when Adam stands up to put the code in, if the camera is in the right spot, it can actually spot you. All right, let's go. Ah, blah, 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 blah. Uh, 806. Six, six, and then quickly duck in behind. See, you see, it nearly got us there. Duck in behind there. Now that the door is unlocked, we should be able to just sneak in without the uh, camera seeing us too much. All right, let's uh, grab some loot. Yum, yum, yum. My goodies. Uh, smoke grenade, okay, sure. And some software, hacking software. Pistol, not that we really need that. Uh, oh yeah, and the weapons case or cabinet. We've already picked up a combat rifle, so we'll just get some ammo there. And I think it's crafting parts in here. All right, how are we looking? Ooh, oh, that's right. It's up in this box up here. Wouldn't worry too much if you missed them though. And. The computers, I don't think we can hack this, and I'm not wasting our multi-tool on it. We could switch off the cameras if we wanted. Um, and this is just story stuff. There's no codes or anything in there. Pause the video if you want to have a read of those. No story, no XP. We're going through the vent. Punch our way through here. Wait one second. We are actually not going that way. That's the wrong way. We came in here just for the loot. Now we're going to go back out the way we came. Watch out for the camera. Whoop, not like I did there. 
and we want to grab cover just over there when the camera turns away like that and we can actually punch our way through here without alarming anyone so do that and jump through here and head up the ladder and into here turn right here don't worry about going that way for now or at all and we'll go in this room here grab some stun gun ammo and some crafting parts under here okay and out we go all right now just be careful here gonna sneak right over here oh that was close make sure you just grab cover here and then jump across to cover over here and do the same behind this guy no one sees you for long enough loot this weapons briefcase and then turn around and head behind here real quick oops someone saw that's not ideal but no one's watching so we'll just do a takedown on him Okay, no one heard that, so that's all good. We'll just uh, loot him, grab his gun, just tuck him away in the corner a little bit more. Make sure no one can see him from out there. That should be fine. And we are going behind the uh, vending machine here. To this vent here. Let's go. Now, don't worry if you didn't if he didn't see you and you didn't get that takedown don't worry because we're actually we were going to get him get a takedown on him by going this way anyway I do believe that was one of the guys we were going to get and we're going to get this guy again now by let's just grab stay crouched in here grab something that you can throw head right down to the back corner and just throw it in this corner here and grab some cover here and now take care of him you could do this whole section without any takedowns if you wanted to we're doing it just for a little bit of XP um, now we want to make sure that he can't be seen by anyone coming in the front door. We might just put him up against these boards here. Oh, that made someone suspicious. And he's coming in the door. Normally, I would have done the uh, old goose trick where you uh, pop your head up, get him to see you, or throw something and make a noise. So we were gonna lure him in here anyway um, to do a takedown, and that's why we moved that body, which he actually heard us moving the body, so. Also, not quite part of the plan, but I'm, I'm, here. I'm assuming you guys get the picture. All right, we can grab these painkillers. Now, the most important thing in here is on the floor just there, and we should be very, very clear. All right, pause the video if you want to have a read of that. Oops, I'll leave it on page two a little bit longer. And there's page three. All right, now, yeah, what I was going to do is grab cover here, stand up like this, wait till that guard sees us, wait till he gets suspicious and duck back down and take him down exactly the same. Oh, don't forget his uh, weapon either. And the guard that we took down just before in the other room, if you hadn't taken him down, you might be able to get in a position where he can either see you or you pick something up um, like this trash can again or bin or whatever it is and um, throw that somewhere around here so that he comes in to have a look as well all right let's go and get the evidence oh there's gonna be another guard out here oh we're not doing a takedown on him though well there is a way that we could let's give it a go don't know why the pictures aren't working there. Get your stun gun out, sneak up behind him. Shoot him with that and do a takedown straight away. 
There we go. No one saw us. Let's just drag his body. Back behind here. Oh, come on. Get out there. Should be able to drag it around this corner. Come on. Come on. There we go. Alright, so no one saw that. One way to do it. Now, if that's a police... So you don't get any XP for taking down those civilians. But there is one police member there. But we're not going to worry about that. We're going to go straight for the evidence now. What did I see there? Ah, nothing. Nothing important. Alright. And on this desk here, we've got the evidence. Smiley, I've got the scan. Yeah? Fantastic! Bring it back to my office and we'll see if I'm right. Copy that. Alright, from the desk where the evidence was, just turn around, move this box. Oh, I don't want that out. And into this vent here. Might have to move this box too. Here we go. Alright, out the vent. Don't forget to loot this. Jump over these pipes and down we go. And here we are, back at the body we got the uh, pocket secretary from earlier. And I said that if we uh, had the uh, Icarus dash, we could make our way up there. All right, so that's where we are now, where the uh, gas was originally. And we can just make our way back to the police, uh, to the train station platform. Here we go. That's where we turned off the electricity earlier. And now we're going to head back to, oop, oop, not there, to Palisade Station. Let's go. Jensen, looks like we have a new lead in the case. It's going to put you inside Gollum City. The Ob Ghetto. What did we get? In telecam footage from the attack. Chang was able to pull some images from it. Trouble is, our new psychologist needs to clear you before you go anywhere. So I shouldn't tell her about this piece of evidence I've got for Smiley. Humor the bureaucrats, will you? Bring Smiley your evidence and give Ozen five minutes of your time. Call me when it's done. Alright, I didn't want to talk during that, but we're just heading from the uh, subway up to room 301 again and we'll just sell a few things before we go and finish off this mission. Uh, let's make this fast, huh? Be faster if you stop talking, Mikhail. That's all I was going to say there. Regular pistol ammo. No thanks. Oop, painkillers. Don't need those. Don't need that. Um. Ooh, uh. Do, 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 do. Shotgun ammo. Um, do, do, do. What else? What else? Sorry, I was just checking my notes for uh, what's next in case there's something we need coming up. But no, that's okay. We'll uh, sort everything out. Easy peasy. All right, that's good enough for now. I have no time. Oh, right, right, right. No. Shush, shush, shush. All right, out we go. Come on in. Weapons for sale. Okay, and now we're heading to TF29. I'm make deals with them. What? We need to go and see Smiley. And give him the evidence we just found. She's always just sitting here having a smoke. Sorry if I was rude before. If this yeah, yeah, yeah. We've heard that one before. Nah, I'm leaving. Well, I'm... Sorry, guys. I didn't even want to talk to her. All right, let's go. Adam, I finally decrypted the audio off the Whisper Chip Tap. Fucking cold, man. You gotta hear it. I have my hands full right now. Tell me where you are and I'll come when I can. There's an old limb clinic in the Daphne district. It's closed down. Nobody goes there anymore. I'll be inside. All right, that is mission six, taking care of business. 
and we're going to cover that in the very next video. Uh, okay, across to, I think he works in forensics, maybe? Here he is. Let's have a chat. Hey, how's it going? Do you have the scan? Yeah, it's right here. You're a lifesaver, Adam. Seriously, Miller was in a foul mood when he left here. I don't need to give him another excuse to chew me out. He left. Where'd he go? Didn't ask, didn't think he wanted me to know. Did those state police jerks give you any grief? They didn't seem to be in a talkative mood, so I left them alone. See? Without my expert advice, you might be dead right now, Adam. A stitch in time saves not. So what's on the scan? Oh, that. I have no idea. What? You told me you found something, something big. I didn't say I knew what it was, Adam. I said it was something that could blow this case wide open. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm not buying this whole arc did it angle. I believe what the evidence tells me. This DSD has all the answers we need, from the chemical makeup of the explosive used down to the material in the victim's clothing. I'm sure of it. Okay, so how long until we're all sure of it? Oh, it it'll take hours to sift through the data. A and I'm seeing Sonia later to apologize for any issues I may have caused with the state police. Uh, plus, I do have other cases to work on, too. Oh, shush, you jerk. I'll let you know if I... when. I find something. You do that. Take it easy. Yeah. Yeah, you'd be scared. There's another uh, big boost to our XP. All right, let's just check. I think we uh, finished that mission now. There we go. So we've got mission number six. We've got to go meet the doctor, and then we're going to go meet Vega in the limb clinic. That is all coming up in the next video. I want to thank you all very much for watching. Hope you're enjoying it. If you are, remember to give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe, post a comment, all that good stuff, and I will catch you all next time.